<clears throat> okay, so I'm going to open up the files we created in the last session uh, in Reason again. Um, and the idea is in Reason, in Mixbus, and in Radar. Uh, the files can be played back in exactly the same way. There's going to be no no processing or uh, effects or uh, anything like that. So let me just turn the tempo to 108. I'm going to import audio files. Import those. Uh, pop loop on. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's internally internally summed. And what I'm going to do now is um, root, root these direct outs from each track into the corresponding direct outs of Radar Studio converters. Um, okay. Yeah, it does sound a little different. So, just so there's no bus compression on here. Um, there, there's no effects or anything. Um, it's just comes straight out of reason, out of different channels, and been summed in hardware. Um, to go via D sub from Radar Studio into the passive mix amp, make up gain on this BAE preamp into the Elysia compressor straight into the sound devices recorder and that's what you can hear on the video and in the test files which I'll make available okay so I'm not going to save that we'll quickly go into Harrison mix bus and do the same thing I've already prepared this so we're going to import the Port the stems into mix bus. And I'm going to open that one there. Um, so that's great, 1.3 milliseconds buffer on there, so that's pretty fast. Um, I think reason was 1.4. Um, and mix bus is around one millisecond buffer, I think. So anyway, um, so I've imported these. I'm going to select these and a loop. Close that down. So same thing now. We're going to we're going to radar studio. So yeah, I mean, I've had radar studio now for around three or four months, and um, I absolutely love it. It sits under the desk. Um, it's unobtrusive, and because the converters are kind of internalized, it's taken away a layer of complexity. You know, so I've got the D sub to come out into my patch bay here. Um, and, you know, I can bring hardware elements into into the mix down, um, and, and it's working great. Sounds fantastic. Uh, it's, you know, it's no bother on going with music making really. So um, it's all good. So um, let me just quickly adjust these, make this a bit bigger, and we're off.
Well, there we go then. So that's that's the uh, three AWs com compared, and I'll make these files available. There'll be a link below this video, and maybe I'll start a gear slats thread as well, and I'll put the files up. People, um, they'll be available to download in high quality, and you know, if it's of interest to you, then you, you can, can can compare them. Um, thanks, thanks, thanks for watching and listening. Um, it, this is a good day for me because it's the first day we've really heard, you know, Radar Studio, Radar, radar Conversion. All the previous videos have been, um, you know, about me setting the system up and, and messing about and stuff. And now I'm starting to feel comfortable with it. It's in my workflow. And uh, it's great to be finally getting some good sound out. Uh, my next video will probably be, I have another eight channels, an eight channel card. So I'll be installing that into into Mixbus, um, sorry, into Radar Studio, um, and also have a really great session singer coming in in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, she's really cool. She sang with the BGS, with Fairport Convention, and lots of other people. So uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing her on Radar, Radar Studio and um, see how that goes. So look, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Plenty of good music to come, and a very happy uh, Radar user here. So. Best wishes. Bye now.